Good morning, y'all. Welcome to day 10 of the devotional, Facing the Giant of Money. I'm glad you're here today. Sowing and reaping. From the one who has been entrusted with much, much more will be asked. Luke 12, verse 48. Learn to be guided by wisdom, not impulse, peer pressure, or lust for things. Spending less than you earn is the key to financial security. Most of us use 25% of our net income for debt reduction. Think, that pre-commits you and dictates what you can do down the road. What you do now is the only influence you have over your future. What if God calls you to go, but debt forces you to stay? Learn to travel light, maintain liquidity. Don't worry about sophisticated investment strategies until you've got at least three to six months of living expenses in the bank. That way you're prepared for emergencies that could derail you. Solomon writes, the wise man saves for the future, but the foolish man spends whatever he gets. Proverbs 21, 20. Have a long-term goal. The reason that lion tamers use a stool for control is because the lion will try to focus on all four legs and end up fragmented and disabled. Keep in view only what's important. Don't just save, sow. Listen, whoever sows generously will also reap generously. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 6. True financial freedom comes when giving no longer threatens your sense of security because you've learned that consecutive sowing generates consecutive reaping. What a way to live. Prayer point. Lord, Help me not to live life on credit. Help me not to make rash decisions that cost me years to pay off. Show me how to manage money instead of money managing me. And even if I go through tough months financially, Lord, help me to still give back to you to be a blessing. No matter what the circumstance, Lord, I pray I would rejoice for every breath of my body today. In Jesus' name, amen.